There are a multitude of ways to create original pads in live. And as always, I favor sample-based sounds for my particular, more grainy personal palette. Anyone who's heard my own productions will also know that I'm a big fan of using vocal elements and real world sounds as bass material. So here's how you can create unique sounding pads and textures from sounds processed through a reverb or delay return track. The right kind of reverb has the wonderful ability to smear whatever source material you push through it and to enliven and highlight harmonics in any sound where they might seem a little dry or hidden. What's more, in live, it's incredibly easy to record the wet signal alone from a return or effects track and start manipulating it in isolation from its original dry source as its own unique texture for new sonic experimentation. Let's jump right in and I'll show you what I mean. I want to create a unique, playable pad from a vocal sample. The first thing I'm going to do is create a couple of return tracks in Ableton, through which I'm going to process my dry source material. Each one of my return tracks will contain a rich, long-tailed reverb effect. Next, I'm going to send as much of my source material through these return tracks as live will allow. To isolate how we hear the signal, I'll also set the output routing of the source track to sends only, so that all we hear is the wet feed from my effects channels. My source material here, by the way, is a beautiful public domain vocal from the wonderful Vera Hall, recorded sometime in the late 40s. With my affected send isolated, we can already hear the beginnings of a wonderful washed out texture. I've deliberately EQ'd each of these return channels differently as well, to create further dynamic variation. Now, to capture my washed out signal, I simply create a new track in live using Command T and select my new track's input source to resampling. If I arm the track and press the record button on live's transport bar, I can immediately record the affected signal. And now the fun begins. Now if I create a new MIDI track and an instance of Live's simpler instrument, all I need to do is drag into it my newly re-recorded audio and start playing around to find a loopable section of ambience to use as my pad bass. With loop mode turned on, and Simpler's envelope settings set to a slow attack, decay, release, and loop, I have a rich sounding customized pad based on our unique source material. I often further roll off a little of the top end of samples like this to smudge out any remaining sibilance. As always, there are no hard and fast rules here. Experiment, tweak away, and have fun. And don't forget to play around with variations in transposition. This is a wonderful trick for creating the kind of playable, tunable pad sounds which will smoothly support and mesh with the sonic characteristics of our original vocal. When I get to heaven, no one gonna shout. 